That's because, and I'm also keeping my hand up under the oxygen lance trigger, so as not to accidentally bump it at a bad time. I'm also not even adjusting any of my oxygen pressure at, up here, or my cylinder <coughs> pumping. It's all being done at the handle, because I don't want to have a boo-boo. All I want is a good, nice, hot source here. So I'm going to even increase my heat just a bit. Propane's cheaper than a cell Okay. Um, propane, you can get almost twice the fuel for the same cost. Maybe three times here right now, I'm going to gentle that up just a bit. It's a little too enthusiastic. Okay, I'm preheating the spine. After we harden this, we'll do a quick temper with the hot cones. What I'm looking for is a white wall of the spine. Yeah, done in a dark shot. Take this to the dullest of blows. Hey Everett, are you around? Yeah. Thank you. Would you please look in that bucket and see if that magnet on the string is around in there? Or if it's in my little tool bag just over the edge. I can see the tool bag inside that trailer right there. We're ready for the magnet. Now this is one of those little friendly steels that lets you test its proper temperature with the magnet. So we've got a uh, recycler's magnet mounted on a string, parachute pole. Turn that over here and just hold it up. Do that in before that. And I want to make sure it's a uniform temperature. Turning it so I don't work my blade, and I'm going to bring it over here. Okay, let's put it on first. Okay, so we're going to bring it back up to this dull red. Now we'll know if I hit it spot on if it comes out, and I'm telling you this before I do it, so you know if I didn't do it right. If, I, if it comes out of the oil, battleship gray, along the cutting edge, I did it right. If it comes out other than that, I didn't do it right. The only rule changes there is the oil uh, sometimes is a higher viscosity and leave a heavier coating on it, like a light off. Okay, let me check that out. Is this thing going to It's not sticking. It's good. Let's check it out. Okay, so, yeah. Even if I take 10 passes at it until I feel comfy at it, I'm not going to stick this knife in, so that's just the dullest blow. Hanford Miller taught me this trick for the ABS. I'm going to do that since it's uh, 1984. Then I'll cut. Now, I didn't do the partial submersion because it, uh, thank you, sir. That tip will be hot, by the way. There we go. How about that? Okay, it was a little bit hotter than I would have liked, but it's still a functional region. Pardon me, sir? Yeah, yeah, the humming is there. It's, it was a little bit high, it didn't serpentine my edge, and it didn't work. So we're happy with that. I could re-harden it and make it absolutely spot on. But do you guys want me to just go ahead and polish and cut and see how she does? Or should we re-clench? Re-clench? Let's re-clench. Clench. Could you hold that so funny again, please? Sir? You're going to fix it right now. Make it perfect, maybe. Yep. 
let's do it right. Once again, technique is with the ricasso, preheat. Now I'm going to go ahead and release some of this stress just by going up and down the blade a couple of times. I'm going to pull myself in front of my fracture. So. There we go. Okay, we're going to reheat the ricasso. Why am I heating up the ricasso? Let's talk about just the sense of what I'm doing. Because it's a gross, gross heat. Yeah, it's a heat sink. Absolutely. Great equipment. So I want that heat to stay in the edge. And if this is a cold bit of metal back here, it's the thickest parts. Yeah, it's the thickest parts. If you suck up all that heat from the edge, I'm not going to get any the edge to hold on. These little bits of sparks you'll see are actually little bits of this scale formed in the plant. One of the reasons I use the John Deere Mystery Steel is it's so forgiving for the mind. You know, ambient light issues. So tomorrow it's going to be harder for the morning demonstration because the sun's going to be coming in brighter. Okay, that's going to get up there. Now we're going to come up here. Glasses. Not hot enough, it'll, the magnet will stick. Okay. If, if I want to try to judge this temperature to get it to where it's just at the point where it makes that transition to not sticking. So I'm going to pull my flame a little further away. I'm really judging the temperature by how I'm seeing the color. I'm going to guess that to be about right. The oil. You see, we're not getting a lot of bubbling because the oil is hot. Okay? So, with the oil being, if the oil isn't hot, the form gets much better and much happier. That's what we're going to do. That's good. Okay. With the oil being hot, it, it doesn't vaporize and form a layer of gas around the blade. It keeps the oil out of contact with the blade unless it doesn't get apart. When the oil's hot, I've broken that, that, uh, that oil for just a little bit, and the oil has more contact. It's a more efficient job of chilling that edge. So now we've got to draw the temper to make it so that it's not brittle. Steve? Yes, sir? What blade of oil? This is olive oil. Oh, it's olive oil. This is olive oil. So it's not, it's not the oil. That's why it has the nice smell. Yeah. And in fact, the, the brand, this is actually the joint that came out of the Baker's <laughs> Member's Mark out of uh, Sands. Or Sands Club, or whatever yeah, yeah. it is. So now I'm just going to stroke this across the 400 grit belt. We're going to use the, the hot tongs, which are now way hotter than I need, to draw our temper. A lot of that's Check that off. I'm going to just wipe this up so we see the template. And I don't want to be careful not to generate heat. In fact, Jesse bought me one of these ever bought some new belts. So I'm going to put a new belt on here. Because this belt was really getting dull. Give me some brand new ones there. Let's see. Thank you so much. Well, that's a new ace, I think. So just because a new belt cuts cleaner, cuts cooler? Pardon me, sir? A newer belt will just cut cleaner and cooler? Yes. Uh, that blade is hard. I always start after hardening, whether I'm doing it in oil or air, whatever the appropriate quench media for the, the steel is. I always put brand new belt on.
All I want to do is get some legs to that blade. And I'd really much rather be running a variable speed machine at this point. Good enough. Now, we're going to pull that set of tongs out. And hope hey, I have the right hand to go off the way with it. Steve, yep. you said you wanted a variable speed. Would you slow it down? Yes. To run it cooler. Yeah. No, that's the left hand side. It should be right hand to go slow. Yeah, we can check in the bucket, please, sir. I know I brought a couple of pairs of boys, so I'm not worried about that. I just don't want to grab those tongs. Too far up to be off the line. Is there a pair of long gloves in there? Uh, it's a different pair, but... That's okay. It'll work. Yeah. These tongs are nice and hot. And uh, we'll clamp those on the back. I wonder if there's a pair of vice grips in that same bucket. Would you please bring the vice grips, sir? are a marvelous thing. And they're guaranteed for life. So if you have to, would you tighten that please, son? Thank you, sir. You get too much draw at that spine right there. Oh, yeah. 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 What I'm doing is I'm getting the straw killer. I was having him hunt vice grips instead of concentrating on the temper. So I may stop it. I'm going to stop it right here for a moment. We're going to interrupt that, that temper. And we're going to go ahead and go. Now, the spine, I want to be in the blue to purple range. I just didn't want that one spot to get softer than the rest of the blade. So I stopped it. Now, if you want a real localized heat, you can come up and work off of the tip only. These tongs are just getting to the point for this thickness knife, they need to be a little bit tighter. <laughs> well, I'm, d I'm doing this just to show folks. I had someone call me this week and said, can you show the hot tongs? Sure, I'll bring some hot tongs so we can do it with the hot tongs. I may have to catch it up with the punch because I was all gagging over here getting the fry scripts. But we'll, we'll work with this for now. Those tongs are still kind of hot. tighter at the spine because you know, these jaws are starting to spread. I was telling folks earlier, I wanted the jaws to be loose. I'm finding I'm not going to tighten them just a tiny bit. But just getting it hot, getting one whack. Let that color run the way I want. But I want that purple to blue all along the spine. I want a dark straw to violet at the edge for the hardness. Those little black pits, those that you can see on the knife, those little black pits are from the first quench up along the edge. You see these little black pits along the edge? Looks like it's got acne. Uh, those little black pits are from crystalline pop out. When it's too hot on the initial quench, and the crystals, I popped some little bits of metal out. Kind of like scale. And I want to make